I just love potatoes any way they're served, but I don't eat them often enough. So today we're making tacos de papa, potato tacos, and alongside a very special salsa using nor chicken consomme. Now for the salsa, I've known that nor caldo de pollo is a very common ingredient, but I've never tried it before. And so today we're whipping up a salsa with it. The ingredients for the salsa are four jalapenos, two chile serranos, six Roma tomatoes, half of a white onion, three garlic cloves, one tablespoon of chile piquin, and one heaping tablespoon of nor caldo de pollo. We're going to make the chiles toriaos first, just to give you guys the idea of what a chile toriao is. We're going to put these in the pan right here. We're going to stir this up a little bit. I'm going to get it a little bit further away from the heat. If you're using a Teflon or a nonstick pan, you can almost use no oil at all, but you do need to have some oil to be called toriado, otherwise it's tatemada. All right, friends, we have all of our jalapenos and serranos ready to go, so we're going to take them out. We're gonna turn the heat up just a hair. We're gonna go ahead and saute our tomatoes. Those take a little bit longer. We'll be back when they're done. All right, my friends, we have our tomatoes sauteed. They're not cooked all the way through. I'm not trying to cook them all the way through. So you can see here, we got a nice sauteed little char on there, but with the oil. All right, now we're ready for our onions. So we're gonna dump our onions in here. We just wanna saute them for a little while. All right, these are getting nice and sauteed. We're gonna drop our garlics in here. Remember, I said, we're not trying to cook them all the way through. We're just sauteing them for a little while. You can see now we have a lot of smoke going on. The onions and the garlic are ready to go. How much chile tepin is just gonna really depend on you if you wanna use any at all. These are dried, they don't need to get cooked. I'm just trying to heat them up a little bit. Brings out the extra flavor that's inside of them. We're gonna dump the serranos, the tomatoes, and the jalapenos back in here. You can hear all that wonderful sizzle going on. Now we don't need to cook them anymore, so we're gonna add some water here. It's not an exact measurement. Let's call this a heaping tablespoon of nor caldo de pollo. Now this is new for me. I can tell you this salsa would be wonderful with a tablespoon of OG or two teaspoons of salt, but today we're using the nor. We wanna get that consomme nice and hot also so that we can bring the flavor out of it. All right, you can see the water starting to boil a little bit. We've got the flavor extracted out of that consomme. We're gonna shut the heat off. We're gonna let it cool off for a little bit and then we're gonna go to the blender. It's time to get the tomatoes, the chiles and everything else in here. I do wanna say also, you could dice these up, slice them up, the chiles and the tomatoes. It would cook a little quicker. It works fine like that. I like to saute the skins on the tomato like that. I think it's better. That's just a personal preference. You want all this goodness in the blender. Every bit of it. Couple of pulses. We'll start to loosen everything up. Once you've got it all loose like that and semi-liquid, you can pulse it a little bit longer. All right, you notice I didn't blend it a lot. It was just a little bit. I don't like it too runny. I want it to have a little bit of texture. Just the right amount of water. Let's give it a taste. It's good. Very, very good. All right, now I think it needs a little bit of salt. I can taste the consomme in the salsa. I think it's gonna need to stay there a little bit longer before it really melds. You know, we call that the flavors are gonna meld together. Since I already have the consomme in there today, I'm just gonna shake a little bit of salt in here. So again, friend, it's not an exact measurement. Salt is always to preference. We're gonna pulse it again and then we'll give it another taste. All right, now if you like a runny salsa, at this point you can add more water. I like it pretty much just the way it is right now. Let's see what we got here. Man, that's really good. That's really, really, really good. I think it needs a little more salt. I'm not gonna put any because salt is always to preference. Maybe my wife and my mom don't like as much salt as I do. I do think it needs a little bit of cilantro. So I'm just gonna tear off some of this here. I'd say we're good, folks. Now also keep in mind, friends, that it's gonna taste a lot better in another 30 minutes to an hour and probably the next day. Once all the flavors meld together, it's gonna taste amazing. So let's give it another taste test. 
Mm. I've had some serranos recently that were fire, but these are not. They have a nice flavor in there. You can taste them. The salsa itself in general is very good. It's that little bit of oil that, that was left in the pan really made it nice and creamy. And I tasted it before the cilantro and it was really good. But the cilantro just, man, kicks it up another notch. It really adds another great flavor. I'm going to say that definitely the Contromed changes the flavor a little bit. You know, everybody has different preferences. I think it's pretty damn good. I'm going to have to try it a couple more times just to see if I I really, really like it. Now, the main ingredient in consumers is MSG. So that could be why people think it adds a lot of great flavor because MSG makes everything taste better. Try your next salsa or try this salsa with a little bit of consomme. If you make it, tag me if you like it. Tag me if you don't like it. Let me know what you think about it. Mm -hmm. on. Now these tacos hit close to home for me. While filming this video, my friend and old restaurant chef told me that these were also called tacos de nada. Meaning that when we were young, sometimes there wasn't any meat to eat in the home, so we used what we had. Sometimes it was rice and beans, sometimes avocado and veggies, and like today, sometimes just papas. So let's get fired up and make some tacos de nada. I mean, potato tacos. Tacos de papa. Okay. Vámonos. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in here, and the first thing I'm gonna add is the onions. And we're not gonna cook them all the way to translucent. Here, that's a little. We just wanna get a little flavor out of them. We wanna get them to loosen up just a little bit. And this is a fast cook, it's easy to do. You would love it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's good any time of the day. So I'm gonna add my chile serrano. I wanna get that nice and roasted too. Saute it a little bit. Looking good. I can see my onions getting nice and toasty. So it's time to add the garlic, quick and easy. This is basically papas a la mexicana, but with a little garlic as well. <laughs> I love garlic. Now I'm gonna add a little pat of butter. People are gonna wanna know why we use butter, because I like butter, and I love the umami flavor that it brings to the dish. Now let's add the tomatoes and then the potatoes. All right, we're mixing it all up. That smells wonderful. The aroma is awesome. And those tomatoes are nice and soft. Everything's soft now. We're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. We're gonna stir that up. We're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. It brings more flavor to the dish. You can use regular water or use whatever you like. It's not a lot. I'm gonna add some uh, American Pit Master Company Wow. It's an all-purpose seasoning. You can put just salt, you can put salt pepper. All right, friends, we're gonna put a lid on it. We're gonna let them continue to simmer and cook. We're gonna come stir them maybe one more time. All right, friends, it's been about 14 minutes. The potatoes are looking really good. They're pretty much done. If you're cooking low with not too much liquid, you'll develop a little fond with the potatoes sticking at the bottom. So I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken broth here at the end, and this is gonna loosen up the fond. I am gonna add a little bit more butter. Let that melt. We're gonna smash these potatoes up and make us some mashed potatoes a la Mexicana. All right, they're starting to look better. I think they need a little more butter. Want them nice and buttery. Potatoes and butter, man, they just go good together. Now we're gonna take our Longhorn style cheddar cheese. We're gonna spread it all over the top here. Now here you can incorporate the cheese with the potatoes, continue to smash, or you can just lay it on top. It's still very, very hot. I'm gonna put the lid back on. That cheese will be melting here really quick. You can see I had turned off the heat. All I did was put the lid back on. The potatoes were hot. All that cheese melted. Look how it all turned out beautiful. Nice cheesy goodness. So let's start with taco number one. A lot of cheese. <laughs> Baby, that's gonna be good. So you wanna just smear your tacos like that. You don't wanna overdo it. You just wanna make them nice and flat like that. Look at all that cheesy goodness. Mm -hmm. What most people do with their corn tortilla, Potato tacos is fry them. We wanna get them nice and toasty without the oil. You wanna flip them early and often. You don't want them to burn. Look at that. That one in the middle looks pretty. Look at that. Now on the corn tacos, people like to use lettuce or tomato or cabbage, queso fresco, and maybe some crema. They smell good. You get that little roasty toasty going on the outside of a flour tortilla. Friends, it smells like heaven. It's just fantastic. It's really, really good. All right, friends, we are done here. We're toasted all of our tortillas. Really nice and toasty on the outside. Beautiful, gorgeous color. We're done. We're gonna get these off too now. These are Texas style tacos. My mom used to make them. Similar to this from my dad. Not exactly the same, but this is the way Arnie Tex makes them. It's time to take a big old bite. Look how pretty that looks. Beautiful little toast on there. All right, so the only other thing I'm gonna do here, you can add anything you like. I'm gonna add a little bit of homemade salsa right here. 
Now our duck was right. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man. That is delicious. Friends, it's a simple, quick, easy to make, full meal deal, or it can be just a snack. You can use any other kind of cheese you like. You don't have to use salsa, but you can. I like it with the salsa. That's a good potato taco. Fantastic. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't get no better than that. All right, friends. I had a blast making this quick, simple, easy, and delicious recipe for you guys. I hope you guys liked it. It's a quick snack to make. You can pre-make the whole thing ahead of time. When you get home from work, throw that tortilla in a hot pan or on a comal. Give it a nice toast and you're ready to eat. All right, friends, thanks for watching. If you're interested in our American Pitmaster Company rubs, go to pitmaster.us. If you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us, and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Keep the smoke light. Make it work. Boom! My dog keeps kicking me over here, so open wide. He ate it. <laughs> I didn't think, he's the pickiest dog in the world. I can't believe he ate that. Basically, it's a pico de gallo in a pan. No, not really. How much water? How much water? Use as much as you like.